Okay, so you're having a problem getting into your stack, staying in your stack. Well, first of all, maybe you don't even know what a stack is. Well, let me tell you. So a stack is going to be this part in your pitch when you're literally stacked. So it's going to be your drive side. For me, I'm a right-handed pitcher. So it's my right leg, right shoulder, right hip. So right knee, right hip, right shoulder is in alignment. Okay. Now, maybe, like I said, you're having issues getting into the stack. So we're going to take it down to the ground, almost as if we're like pitching from our knees. Okay. So right here, this is copying what a stack would look like, right? Okay, stay with me on this because this is going to be the first part of this drill. So what you're going to do, if you're still going to have a 230 toe on that power line, okay? We don't want to be out here. We don't want to be here because you don't pitch like this. Literally, we're going to go from here to here in just a second. So stay with me. And these are just yard pads. You can get them from like Dollar Tree, Walmart, wherever, okay? All right, so first things first, we want to establish the stack. So a couple things need to be found first. I need to find my balance. So my balance, yeah, I'm balanced because I can push back and I'm not falling off crazy, okay? Now, the second thing, yep, that feels good. Yep, that feels good. It's important to know that when you're doing this drill, you're focusing on snapping and then getting to your forearm fire, okay? Too many girls want to jump to the forearm fire and they forget to snap and then everybody has an opinion about it. Bottom line is you can't pitch consistently unless you have a snap, regardless of your finish. Make sense? So we're going to start in that reach position. So this is basically going to be at the three o'clock position. This is going to be 12. This is going to be nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, twelve. You get it? You got it. All right, we're good. Okay, so we're going to go here, but we're not going to pitch yet. Okay, we're all about feel here. I want you guys to focus on pivoting your right hip. So we're right here. Boom. So it's all in that right hip. And this is great for hip separation. Okay. I'm going to go three times. Okay. And then on this fourth time, I'm going to go all the way around. Hip, pivot. That's what we want to do. Hip, pivot. Fourth time. Going back to form fire. If you guys get too focused on how you're ending in your pitch, you will allow your pitch to cross over. No. Okay, so how do I fix that? Super simple. Again, going back to the simplicity, right? The snap. So I need to focus on snapping, right? Yes. Okay. So we're going to snap. One, two, three, four. Okay, and as you can see, I'm creating front side resistance too. Gosh, that is crazy. Now I'm gonna add one on here. Let's talk about pull side. I want you guys to catch your knee, okay? What's that gonna look like? So we're gonna get right here, same position, okay? We're gonna catch our knee every time, okay? So we're coming up, ready, and we're gonna throw, and we're creating front side resistance. What does that look like from the front side? Well, let's take a look. Coming up to that three o'clock position, throw. All right, now we're going to go up with the drill. A little padding is gone, and I'm going to be working up now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mentally know what I'm doing. Right now, I am focusing on my stack. Not a strike. Time and a place, not right now. Focusing on my stack. Unload. Okay. Breathing. Get to my reach. Okay. I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to pause. A couple things I need to check. Am I in reach position? Yes, I am. Am I stacked? Yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna proceed with a right hip pivot. Here it comes. Boom, now I'm at a 45 degree angle, which means I'm pointing towards that chalk line in between third and home. I'm not like this. We don't wanna be like this. We don't wanna be like this, right? When we're trying to throw. That's how you end up pushing the ball and it will create an injury over time. And well, with pain and enough injuries, there goes your confidence, right? So don't allow the thief of confidence to come into your pitching. Every session you are gonna train like it's a full pitch, but you're not focusing on a strike. You're focusing on the feel. I know my job. My job right now is to focus on my stack. Here we go. Okay, I'm dragging toes down. This is good. This is good. I have a soft bend in left knee. <laughs> or if you're a lefty, it's your right. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and right hip pivot to that nine o'clock slot. This feels good. This feels good. Okay, now, once you do this enough, then you're going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to go ahead and pitch it. Here we go. Any questions, just ask.